Hey everybody! So, guess what we're doing today? A black circle um, flip and drag, no silicone. Let's try and get you. Since it's not on the bars, it's lower so I can actually get you a little bit closer. That should be good. So this is um, the one I did the other day. It's still a little bit wet. My dad thought it looked angry. <laughs> I'm like, okay. I think it's just because we're so used to seeing lighter, brighter. And you know my dad likes really, really bright paintings, so. But I am kind of digging it, and I've got one I showed you in the last video that's being resined. And um, on this MDF, so it's perfectly smooth, and then the jet black, and then the resin, and it is just, I mean, just amazing. You get lost in it. It's so pretty. So, but... Um, so I used, um, our, uh, Liquitex Basic Ivory Black. This I primed, I think this is Mars Black. And I had the, when I, when I squeezed the Mars and the, um, Ivory out, the Mars seemed browner, warmer. But as I'm looking at this dried one, um, I don't see it anymore. You know, I, I guess maybe it's only in direct comparison. And this is actually had, this this is MDF. Um, the teacher at school cuts them for me. This is an 18 inch circle. I had primed it white and sanded it. And then I decided I wanted to do another black negative space. And, um, so I then painted it black. So this has a lot of priming on it. So the paint should go on real smooth. Um, and really the MDF, the only part that even really needs sanding is these cut edges, um, cause they're raw. So it's really just the edges that need sanding. Otherwise it's perfectly smooth. So I'm gonna use Grumbacher Turquoise. Uh, metallic purple that I made up and then this is um, well it's pretty much a gray but it's got some metallic white in it and some um, black and silver and all sorts of stuff and actually uh, I'm gonna use the straw to stir it <laughs> I just ordered more bamboo stirring sticks, which are on my Amazon page. I love those things. And they've lasted me pretty long, but uh, then I think I got lazy about wiping them off every time because they are shiny, so you can wipe them. I don't know why I was just gonna do. So you can wipe them clean every time and reuse them even right here even when they look like this you know you can still reuse it with another color it won't bleed back off so I love those things yeah now that the ivory's on top of this this does look warmer I hope this is okay it is thick I, and I, oh my gosh, I hope it's not chunky. I had a really hard time mixing it. And I don't know why. But he, let me, just, oh, I just flung something in there. Okay, that's what I was afraid of. I think these are 
chunks. That is something. I don't know why this would not mix up right for me. Sometimes that happens with the artist loft, but it's never happened with the Liquitex. I mean, I have sat and stirred and stirred and stirred and stirred and stirred. It's just so hard to know if those are because when I touch them, there's like nothing there. <sighs> I don't know. hard to see what I've already I don't know why I'm having such issues I just bought this paint today. I mean, there, you know, there's always the chance that something could be, you know, it could be a goofy batch or something, but ugh, I don't know. We're going to go with it though. try it. The worst that happens is that I have to um, scrape it off. Alright, so let's start with the gray. Add the turquoise. And no silicone in this. So, and I guess since that straw was already dirty, I will use that. I'm 
I'm thinking maybe the black is just too thick. Ooh. That's pretty though. Colors are good. Colors are really nice. <laughs> Maybe I can just, as you can see, I'm like tip tipping. Maybe I can just get that weird paint off of here by tilting it off. I mean, it's going to be a shame if those are, for some reason, chunks and it dries in there. Um, but since it is wood, something right there. but since it is wood, I can sand it down. So that's good. This looks like a continent in all the little islands. Hmm, I really like this part right here. some more purple so I'm just using the same um, flip cut and then I think I do want to add some metallic blue um, maybe a touch of gray Ooh, like the Grateful Dead song and some more white. I like it with the blue. There's nothing in it. Still gonna move. Uh, 
Um, why did it take me so long to use black? This is so pretty. I was always like, nothing's going to show up on it. But this is gorgeous. It's really pretty. So I'm really hoping that these aren't chunks in there. I'm hoping it's just because the black is thicker. Alright, I really, really like this. Scooping along the bottom, smoothing it out. Take the gloves off, touch it. So even without silicone, I got sales. Um, see what like that looks like. Oh, that wasn't something. just refuse to mix because I am able to kind of now pick them up, so to speak. Well, this is fun. <laughs> I have no idea what's going on. I shouldn't be having to do that. <laughs>
Now I think that I might just be imagining things. No, because that's like a... I primed it with acrylic paint. I wonder. Hopefully that's not what is like getting wet underneath here. Um, but uh, I'm going to wait quite a while before I varnish this one just in case to make sure that it is dried through and through. All right, I think I got it. Oh my gosh, so gorgeous. Really happy with this one. So fingers crossed that it dries well because I am just, oh my God, it's so gorgeous. So thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you next time. Bye.